What's going on, combat sports fans? We have an awesome fight lined up for UFC 209 with a debut in the strawweight women's division. And Amanda Cooper is going to be welcoming Cynthia Calvillo, I believe is how you say it, to the UFC at UFC 209 on the early prelims. And I'm excited for this one. If you're new to the channel, we'll be getting to the prediction, just so you know, within about the first minute of the video from me, Crazy Joe, and Big Dog Jimmy to see who we're picking and if we can agree or disagree what's going to happen. So this is going to be cool because Cynthia is uh, from Team Alpha Male, if I uh, am correct on my research and whatnot. And Amanda Cooper, she was a finalist at the, the, uh, the Ultimate Fighter 23 season finale where she lost against Tatiana Suarez. And it's going to be really cool because she uh, has already fought one time. And this is the second time uh, fighting after losing in the finale. And Tatiana hasn't even fought yet, which is crazy. But let's get to the prediction and then some other information. I am going to be going with Amanda Cooper to win this one by submission in the first round. I believe uh, before they get sweaty and whatnot or too sweaty and whatnot and they're still kind of dry, that they're going to end up, uh, Amanda's going to take her to the ground and she's going to end up uh, securing a submission hold and make Cynthia tap out. Big Dog Jimmy doesn't see it that way. He thinks that we're going to see Cynthia get a uh, TKO knockout victory over Amanda Cooper. I don't understand like how you think that's going to happen. You think she's going to take her down and then she's going to end up being an, uh, on top or get her in a crucifix position and getting a TKO ground and pound? It's very interesting. Um, you don't think it'd be uh, like in a clinch up against the cage with body shots or anything like that? No? Okay. You just think it's going to be straight. We both think it's going to go to the ground and it's going to get dirty on the ground and it's going to get rough and it's going to be awesome and it's going to be a war inside the octagon that you see 209 when these two women collide and go to war. Uh, Amanda Cooper, she is a legit badass in my opinion. And Cynthia looks pretty badass too from what I've seen of her. And I'm barely I'm really curious to see what she can do against Amanda. I just don't see Amanda Cooper losing this one, in my opinion. Let me know down below in the comment section. Are you going with me, Crazy Joe, going with my pick of Amanda Cooper winning it via, via submission or a different way? Or are you going with Big Doug Jimmy and having Cynthia winning this one by a TKO KO victory? Uh, you know, let us know down in the comment section who you agree with me or Big Doug Jimmy. Now, Amanda Cooper, uh, the UFC says uh, their website says she's three and two, but then you go over to Sure Dog and they say two and two. So I'm kind of confused. But when you go and you look at Amanda Cooper's bio, uh, it says that she has two submission victories as a pro, and it says that it's an armbar and a rear naked choke. Well, the rear naked choke is from the semifinals, you know from what I see of her record, so, I mean, but then there's, um, she has a rear naked choke as an amateur, but I don't know, maybe they're considering that one to be a pro fight, I don't know, maybe there's something here that Sure Dog doesn't have that the UFC has on their whole thing, so anyways, she fought in Invicta FC, and she fought at the 14th event, and she lost to Aspen Lad, somebody who I like a lot, uh, you know, as a combat sports MMA fighter. Aspen Lad is a badass, and she's awesome. She won by an armbar over Amanda Cooper, and then Amanda Cooper lost in the finals at the Ultimate Fighter 23 finale against Tatiana Suarez, and then she beat uh, Anne Elamos at, uh, by unanimous decision at Fight Night 99. You know, she's got quite the uh, record as an amateur of 8-3 and three with a lot of TKOs and some submissions sprinkled in there. Um, she's lost by TKO once as an amateur, uh, you know, so, and then two times she's lost as a pro have been by submission via armbar and a barbar choke. So, kind of surprised Big Doug Jimmy did not go with a submission victory and he thinks it's going to be a KO TKO. But with Cynthia having two victories by KO, TKO, and one decision victory, I can see why he's going with that. And that's why he said he's going, because he thinks her striking is going to be on par and take out Amanda Cooper. Um, she has two TKO victories, one in the second round, and then one in the third round. It's a pro and then a unanimous decision. And she actually beat Aspen Ladd in WFC. 
uh, by unanimous decision, which is interesting. And, uh, and as an amateur, that is. And then she also has KOTKO's Ray Naked Show as an amateur. So she does have the power in her hands, and she does have some ground game as well. Uh, it says here Dark Horse Gym, but when you go and you search Cynthia Calavallo, Calavallo uh, you search her and you come up with her Instagram or, you know, Facebook, Twitter, or whatever. I found her on Instagram, and there was a whole bunch of stuff with her with the Team Alpha Male with Cody Garbon, with Uriah Faber, Paige Van Zant, and other people. So that made me think that she trains there. Or maybe she, you know, trains there, but other places, I don't know. Kind of confused. Uh, but anyways, so this is going to be a really fun fight. Let us know down below in the comment section your thoughts and opinions. If you enjoyed our prediction, make sure to slap the like button around. And if you're new to the channel, punch that subscribe button into submission down below uh there's the bell by it as well if you punch that pop that bell you'll be notified when new videos are uploaded here at joe's commentary and predictions so uh and then also over here at the end of the video there'll be some videos popping up over here they look interesting people out some other predictions and random videos as well thanks for watching combat sports is awesome uh this is going to be in a really awesome and fun fight i'm really looking forward to this one this is going to be very exciting when these two women collide at ufc 209 thanks for watching